and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's something new for the channel. It's my first open the book, my first book based war game, and it is Tally Ho, a solitaire air war game based around the Battle of Britain, designed by Thomas Van Heer in association with his webpage Historic Wings. And I must thank Thomas for sending me this review copy of my first ever book-based war game. So thank you very much, sir. And this game is easily available now through Amazon. So check that out if this looks like it's going to be of interest to you. So what's all this about? Tally Ho is a solitaire air war game about the Battle of Britain fought in the skies over England in the summer of 1940 between the Royal Air Force of Great Britain and the Luftwaffe of Germany during the Second World War. To clear the way for Hitler's planned invasion of England, Operation Zeeluwe, or Sea Lion, the Germans had to first secure air superiority by destroying the Royal Air Force. Designed by Thomas van Heer, the first of a series of book-based games, Tally Ho features fast playing action with 15 missions to play, easy to understand rules, and a campaign game that brings the backstory of one of history's most extraordinary aerial conflicts to life. Can you win the Battle of Britain? The future of Britain rests on your shoulders. And here's an excerpt from one of Winston Churchill's famous speeches. Complexity, five out of 10. Age range 10 plus, number of players, of course, solitaire, time to play 20 to 45 minutes. This book is 116 pages long, but fear not, the rules are only 17 pages. So we've got a dedication to Thomas's father. And here's the uh, YouTube link to Historic Wings. I'll put that in the description as well. And there are some more of these coming out by the looks of it. Here's the content sheet. Continuing on the other side. Acknowledgements. And there's um, an expansion for this coming out in the future, which uh, makes it a multiplayer game. So here are the rules. And it is a sort of print and play. We have to print the maps and the counters, which we'll show you in a moment. But here we are. Here's some of the counters uh, blown up larger than life. And examples of some of the hexes on the map. How to set up the mission. With the setup charts. Rolling to see what um, squadrons are involved in that mission. And the Italians make an appearance at the end as well. And the RAF squadrons are made up of VIX, those V-shaped formations they used. And the Germans using the Staffel, and they're made up of Schwarms. And there are some international squadrons which will adjust your dice throws with modifiers. Sequence of play how to move, and that again for the Germans is done by a movement chart, movement and actions of your RAF squadrons, massed formations can form for both sides, combat, so dogfights of course, the scattering of those uh, planes once the dogfight is over. Using fuel and ammo points. The Germans will jettison their bombs if they lose one or more swarms in a dogfight. The different types of attack that can happen apart from the aircraft, light AAA, heavy AAA, even friendly fire when the RAF squadrons fly into hexes that have AAA or indeed 
barrage balloons. Returning to base for both sides. Bombing and strafing of the Luftwaffe planes. And the victory conditions. And there we are, 17 pages. The rest of the book is the missions, of course. Uh, an in-depth campaign you can play and some great information about the personalities involved and indeed the planes. And before we get into the missions, there is a short gameplay example, which is always good to see. And then we're into the missions. What this game does is to split the 15 missions into five phases of three missions each. This, of course, is only used if you're playing the campaign. You can, of course, play missions on their own. Just pick a mission and play it. Here's mission one. So you see here are the maps. Now, if you don't want to bend the book back and photocopy the map, Thomas has put all the files you need for the maps and indeed the counters on BGG. And I'll leave a link for that in the description. So here's mission one. This is how you set it up with what squadrons and uh, stuffles are used. And then mission two and so on. I won't go through them all. There's mission three, and then we go into phase two with more missions and so on. So yeah, a bit of printing to do. I don't mind that, making up counters and all that sort of thing. And then right at the end we have, here's the Italians making their appearance. And then at the end, an inglorious end to the Battle of Britain, 31st of October, 1940. Campaign tracking sheet. Now, if you want to do this campaign game, I probably won't do the campaign because it is very involved. We have to play the full 15 missions. And depending on how successful you are in each of those phases, determines how well you do for the... Uh, Rest of the campaign. This is uh, quite an involved game. So here's how to play the campaign. There are three parts to it. The war report. And here we see, I won't show you these because you read certain bits of this depending on how successful you are in each phase of the game. So if you've won two of the missions in phase three, read this. If you've only won one, read that. So... Lots of replayability there, so I won't show you that. And then the second step of the campaign is these guys are reading your war report. And then there's dice rolls to see whether or not they tell you to fight on or abstain or surrender. And then step C is the parliamentary vote. And it's like the, the, the political parties voting and depending on the outcome, you're going to fight on or surrender. So a lot going on. And then next is the glossary of the aircraft involved in the game. Some great information here. Thomas certainly knows his stuff. So lots to read apart from playing the game. Some stuff about the international squadrons and the chain home and sector control, which you'll see on these uh, maps. Here we are. And then the counters, but uh, don't 
worry you don't have to bend this back to photocopy they are on board game geek so that's all the counters not a great deal they're double sided on the other side we've got the rtb side return to base here are the aircraft performance charts a mission tracking sheet which you'll use for your missions anyway and a mast formation tracking sheet as you can imagine if you've got a few counters stacked up because you've got a mast formation it might be easier to put them on here and use one of these mast formation counters instead so a tremendous amount in this book apart from the game Air combat, a realistic depiction. There's a Vic there, I believe. And some game design notes, which is always good to read. Get inside the mind of the designer, how they came to design this game. Player guide and advisory things not to forget especially when you're doing your mission tracking sheet and there's thomas so here's his youtube channel here's his historic wings magazine channel and i'll put these uh, in the description And here's Winston's, or an excerpt from Winston's first speech in the House of Commons three days after becoming Prime Minister on the 13th of May, 1940. So there we are. That's Tally Ho, a solitaire air war game. I must thank Thomas for sending me this review copy for me to have a look at and a playthrough of. So thank you, Thomas. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and you found it interesting and it's uh, inspired you to at least go check it out, see what you think. As I said earlier, it's available on Amazon. If you did enjoy the video and you haven't done so already, it would be great if you would consider subscribing to the channel. Really does help. Pushing the like button of the video helps as well. And if you want to be informed of other content the channel uploads, then push the bell. Leave a comment. Yep, this is my first experience of a book-based war game. So we'll see how we get on with that. But let me know your thoughts. I love to read them. Thanks as always to my subscribers. Thank you so much. And just before I go, there are a couple of ways for you to support the channel a bit further if you wish to. You can buy the channel a coffee. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Or you can push the super thanks button. And if you decide to donate, the channel thanks you, and so do I. Well then, that's it. Let's see what happens in the next video. Until then, though, as always, you take care and goodbye.